as I have this electro surgical unit and it has an error as you can see so this error actually is uh, related to this board so we are going to remove this board and uh, we will troubleshoot it okay so this is the board now this board actually is very expensive and we need to order this one from germany so we will try to repair this one to save uh, the time and money and uh, we can run the machine immediately okay guys now this is the board and uh, usually the problem of these boards are uh, short component maybe this uh, transistor or the diodes here so we will check that one but uh, before we will start let me show you one thing see i have here two flock multimeter and this one is the older model but i like to use this one for uh, the, uh, checking the short on the component because of this the diode mode in the continuity is the same the same i mean it are the same the same area when you rotate this one they are the same not like this one the continuity in diode mode if you shift you need to press this so the advantage of this one is you can check the short even without looking to the multimeter you will hear the beep not like this one if you are on diode mode you will not hear the beep so when you are checking a diode you have to go diode mode and if you detect short it will give you only the value but you will not hear the beep not like on this one so the advantage is even you are not looking on the multimeter once you hear the beep on the diode mode it means there is a short so we will use this one So, meter on diode mode. And we will take some ground here on the capacitor. Black uh, red probe to ground. Here, we'll check this uh, transistor. So, this is uh, on the ground. The other leg is not short. The other leg is okay. This is transistor is okay. Okay, so we'll check it like this. I see some value on the multimeter, but it's okay. I once I hear the beep. It means there is a short. That is the only one I want to know now. Oh, this one. So you see, guys, this four uh, zener diode is reading short. Now, if these diodes are parallel, so it doesn't mean that all of them are short, maybe only one. In order to check that one, we have to remove at least one pin of the diode so that we will know if they are all short or only few of them are short. Again, see? Okay. Uh, let me first remove the 
at least one leg of this uh, uh, zener diodes. Okay, guys, we left all the legs of the zener diode on the right side, and let us check now if there is a uh, short. See, this one is not reading short. This one also not reading short. Oh, this is the one reading short. In this one. So the last two diode are reading short. The first two are okay. See? And this one. So we will remove this two diode. Then we will change it. And uh, we will uh, test the unit. Let me just check the continuity if we soldered it properly. This is that new Zener diode. Uh, by the way, the number of this. Uh, uh, Zener diode is uh, IN4148 Maybe you will ask how I know It's because I have the service manual from the manufacturer of this machine Again, we will check the continuity This is okay, and from here, this one, okay, okay guys, so now this is the two Zener diode that we replace, and this is the old one that we remove, these two. The short. So now we will check this board if we can detect any short. Okay, before it's here, no more short, no more short. No more short. So, what you have to do is to return this board to the unit. And once we connected it, we should not see the hand error alarm. Okay, so let's try it. Okay, guys, now we will return this board to the unit. So, these are the diodes, Zener diode that we replace. And uh, we tested the connections and everything was fine. So we will return now this board. Uh, we will fit it properly. Okay. So there is only two cables connected to this board. And uh, I'm going to fix it, the cable. So, it's here on this uh, left side. 
okay so we will connect it now and uh, we will try to run the unit okay that's it okay So we will own the unit now. Let's power up. Okay. Ah, this error guys is related to the neutral plate. So this is not a problem. So just to make sure there. It is okay. So let's fix all the accessories. So it's, so it's connected now, and as you can see, there is no more error. That error before was related to this neutral plate, this one. Okay, let's look at that. So if I connect this one to the port, this error will be gone. See? So, accessory is connected. Let's try to test the unit. What one? Oops. Good. See, it's firing. Okay. Again. So no more error and uh, the unit is working fine but we have to test this one on electrosurgical unit so that we will be sure that the machine is working on the desired parameters and uh, it is safe to use. So until here. Okay. I hope you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share.